What's up guys, I am the Nature Hacker and this is your world. So today I want to talk about xerostomia, which is uh, dry mouth. So the other day I had this and I was kind of worried, um, you know, with my teeth powder, you know, it's pretty alkaline so you definitely want to have enough saliva and stuff in your mouth. Um, so I had dry mouth and I figured maybe it was um, just some some slight tweaks I had made to the recipe uh, recently from my teeth powder and um, but I had the idea that maybe what's happening is I introduced ginger into the last recipe and ginger is good against uh, what do you call it it's good against campylobacter and campylobacter tends to cause like loose teeth so if you kind of if you push your teeth your teeth you know with the you know the inside of your teeth with your tongue if you push around and you notice any like popping like a slight little pop that is a sign of campylobacter from my research um you know you know just scouring the research and also just you know personal experience things like that so i introduced ginger because i know ginger is probably the best thing that i have so far against campylobacter i'm looking into um chamomile as well but so far, ginger has been the best. So I put some ginger in my teeth powder, and it started causing dry mouth. So what I figured is, you know, maybe it's because I'm allergic to ginger. Um, maybe it's because I'm the ginger is now killing Campylobacter so that other bacteria can overgrow. And so I was like, I just had the idea that it could be TB, tuberculosis, which is obviously, you know, a, a dangerous bacteria and whatnot, but it is a common bacteria, it's a common um, part of our gut flora. So I figured maybe it could be TB because before I neglected putting garlic in the teeth powder and I wanted to put it in, you know, to basically prevent TB because I knew that in my super advanced detox cleanse I needed garlic to prevent TB from overgrowing in the gut. You know, when you kill off everything else, then the bacteria that are resistant to the methods you're using to kill will overgrow. So you definitely want to have a very uh, wide-ranging um, variety of herbs. So I was like, well, maybe it's maybe it's TB. Maybe um, it's because I neglected to put garlic in the teeth powder. And you know, you would understand why I would neglect to put garlic in is because garlic is known, you know, to cause bad breath. So so anyway, I, I was all right, I couldn't get rid of my dry mouth. Um, I was pretty worried about it, you know. It, all, always at the, that type of time comes like the regret, like maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have made the deep power. You know, it, it always happens. The same with the super advanced detox cleanse. When I come across a new bacteria, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have cleaned out my gut. You know, but I always conquer it. I always figure it out, and it turns out to be. A lot better that I did you know I did make it you know it is better I am in a better place than I was before so anyway um I took garlic extract powder you know, you know garlic extract powder which is very potent I put some in water swished around with it and you know pretty much instantly you know within several minutes my saliva flow started coming back slowly and um, things were back to pretty much normal. So what I did is I I was going to throw away that, that teeth recipe that I made with ginger, just like, ah, I have to go back to the old recipe. But, you know, I was like, well, maybe I'll just add a little bit of garlic to it, see what happens. So, you know, so now I'm working with that. So anyway, I think I've found out the cause of dry mouth, you know, just from this process of um, trial and error, really. And trial, error, research, retry kind of thing. So, you know, when you're like me and you have pretty much all the bacteria in your body killed off, it becomes very easy to pinpoint what bacteria cause what problems. So it puts me in a really good spot to be able to innovate and to be able to have a niche of really nobody else is figuring this stuff out. So I am pretty convinced that it's TB. I'm not 100% convinced. What I would like to see is going into the research and or not not in the research going into google typing in 
garlic cures dry mouth and then seeing boom it works other people are saying it works then I can be like yes okay it really is TB since TB is very uh, um, killed easily by garlic um, it's one of the bacteria that's killed best by garlic so you know that would confirm it but if I saw that but unfortunately I didn't really see many people using garlic to cure dry mouth most people obviously weren't really looking for an herb to kill bacteria in the mouth because they didn't realize there's a link between bacteria and uh, dry mouth they just thought oh I need things that will stimulate my saliva so you know kind of potent herbs like cayenne or ginger that kind of stimulate saliva but that's in fact not the case and one thing that helps confirm that it is TB bacteria is um, I was looking at you know the Medscape or you know medical type stuff online and they said that certain things like TB uh, mumps mumps is a virus so that's not really gonna be it TB that's pretty much it TB can cause dry mouth so that really helped me uh, figure that out as well so I think the problem was TB overgrowth in the mouth so dry mouth is caused by TB bacteria which is mycobacterium tuberculosis in order to treat it try garlic so if you have dry mouth like not just like drug induced dry mouth or whatnot but if you have chronic dry mouth I mean, it doesn't have to be all the time but like let's say that you have certain triggers like if you eat certain foods or drink certain things it just causes like really dry mouth not just like sort of but like it actually really does cause dry mouth then you probably have a TB overgrowth in your mouth so what you might want to try doing is getting uh, you know a clove of garlic just biting off a piece of it chewing it up and then putting some water in your mouth and swishing around swishing that around and so that raw garlic would be able to kill the TB bacteria in your mouth and therefore make it so that um, cures your dry mouth so let me know if you have dry mouth try out that garlic thing let me know if it works help me to confirm that the um, hypothesis I guess that uh, TB is the cause of dry mouth so anyway thanks for watching I am the nature hacker go do work